So can you hear that noise? That noise is coming from the blower fan on the dryer. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to replace that blower fan uh, so you can stop that noise, that rattling noise that you hear. So stick around and uh, I'll show you the steps involved. One important uh, thing I wanna mention, before performing any work like this, make sure you disconnect power by either unplugging the dryer or turning off the circuit breaker. The first thing that you're gonna need to do is open the dryer door and remove your lint screen. Then you can close the dryer door and you're gonna wanna get down inside, in, down in these two areas, there's a metal clip you're gonna to wanna to get in there with a flat blade screwdriver and push on it and kinda of get above that clip and get it to pop out. So you can kinda of see how those clips work. You gotta push in on the top of them to press this down so it opens. So you gotta get the screwdriver up above this surface to pry it out, there it is, to push it in. So we're gonna take that front guard off. And then we're gonna remove this cover. So that cover is held in by one, two, three, four quarter inch screws or with a quarter inch uh, head on them. So I'm gonna remove those. And then this, this cover will come off. You can see the blower fan in there. And let me show you a little bit closer. The blower fan, it's a little dark, but uh, you can see the blower fan and you can see the problem. It's broke. So it's broke right there. And what's happening is it's going around, it's rubbing. You can see a rub spot right there. That's kind of hard to see in the video, but there is a rub spot there. Let me see if I can get a little clearer shot of it. So you can see it's rubbing in there because it's broke and it's starting to rattle and all that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this with a new one. So the new one that I bought is uh, is right here and this cost about $35 plus shipping on the internet I ordered it so uh, this is a relatively cheap fix so what we need to do is we got to get in behind here to hold the shaft we're gonna hold that shaft with a 7 16 wrench while we stick a half inch, uh, half inch square drive in there and rotate it clockwise, which is the opposite of what you would do typically to loosen something. So it's reverse threaded so that as the blower spins, it actually tightens itself. So this is a reverse thread. So to loosen it, we're gonna turn it clockwise. And most of the dryers, it'll probably say on the blower itself. You can see here that re to remove, you uh, rotate it clockwise. So that's what we're gonna do next. So the next thing that you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to take your 7 16 inch box end wrench, go right behind this metal housing and put it on, there's like a hex shaft behind there. 
Once you do that, you can take your half inch uh, drive, socket uh, drive, and put it in this square hole and turn it clockwise. And uh, I've seen some instructions where they have you tear the whole front of the panel off, take the drum out, take the belt off, and go through all this work. But it's really not necessary. It's a little more difficult. It's a little difficult to get the wrench back here, but it's really not that difficult. So here we go. Let's. So I got it, the wrench back there on the shaft. And we'll put this in here. And then we gotta turn it clockwise. I don't think I got it. My wrench slipped off in the back. So if you, if I had the proper tool, I'd have a proper handle on there and I'd be able to do it. So what I'm gonna try to do instead is use my impact driver then. Cause that baby's on there pretty tight. Gotta remember that I gotta turn it clockwise. So set it as if it's being screwed in. Let's see if this. off of there I may end up having to actually break the old one off because my impact driver was not able to get it off I wasn't getting it off with that let me try one more time oh, I just dropped the wrench so what I'm gonna end up doing is just breaking this fan away. I'm gonna just chisel at it and just break it off of there so I can put the new one on. Okay, now that I finally got the old blower fan off, uh, which I had a break to get off, but that's okay because we, we don't need that one anymore. So uh, I'm ready to put the new one on. The beauty of installing the fan is Again, you gotta put it on counterclockwise. So it's gotta get threaded on counterclockwise. And you should probably hold it with the wrench from behind. Let me get it on that shaft again. It is a bit tricky to get it on that shaft, but it was still better than taking the whole thing apart. So you get it on the shaft and just tighten this thing down finger tight. That's all you have to do. It's probably not what the first guy did and that's why it was on so tight. Although as the fan runs, it self tightens. So it, it really doesn't have to be on very tight for it to stay tight. So fans on. You can see here, we got the fan on. Now it's just a matter of putting everything back on that we had. And while you have it open, it doesn't hurt to get in there and clean out any lint or any crud that collects in there. So, so go ahead and do that. And then we'll put this back on. fits on over the way opposite of the way we took it off
go ahead and make sure they're all tight. Don't overdo it because it's just sheet metal. And that's that. One of the things I did take off while I was trying to break off that old fan was the door spring that is installed here. This is one of the door springs. The other one's on the other side. So before I forget, I better put this back on. And that just hooks in to the door. Where did it hook in? There's a bracket up under here. Attaches to the hinge, basically, of the door. And then down at the bottom here. And that just, uh, it's just simply the door spring. And then to put this back on, basically just set it down in at the bottom. So you're going to want to feed these little brackets in through the holes. These holes in the, the cover. And then just clip it in. My this clip on here is a little bit bent, so I gotta I gotta force it up a little bit to get it into those holes. And that's that. So once you get that done, go ahead and restore power uh, by either turning your circuit breaker back on or plugging your dryer back in. And then let's we'll turn it on and we'll see how it turned out. Now that I got the power back on, let's go ahead and turn up. Oh, let's put the uh, actually the lint thing back in. And then let's go ahead and turn it on and see what happens. And there we go. Sounds quieter. I don't hear the rattling sound that I was hearing from in there anymore. So, seems like that did the trick. I'm glad you watched. Please subscribe to my video for more tips and tricks in the future. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thank you.